Hey, it's Spence. Here's an easy way to make a site entry pop-up gate. This could be useful for age verification, maybe a time-sensitive sale, or when you want to add prospects to your email list. In this recipe, I'm going to show you the basic ingredients, which are just Cadence conversions and Cadence blocks, all available in the kit. But you can use this recipe with some further features to expand upon it. Now, the first thing you want to do is to create a new conversion item, and that's done simply by going to Cadence Conversions and then clicking Add New. In this case, you'll be given a choice of what type of conversion uh, trigger. So I'm going to do Onload, and then the settings will be for a pop-up. You can also choose from a slide-in or a banner. They also give you some nice design starting points, but you can do whatever you want. Next, you want to decide which goal you have. In this case, I just need the person to click a button rather than submitting an email or a name and rather than doing an A or B choice. If you had the A or B choice, that might open up the idea of using analytics tracking so you can see how many people clicked A or B. Similarly, I want to make sure that this shows up every single time when somebody comes to the website. So I want to make sure that the conversion goal is, uh, is on to close the window, but I do not want to do the repeat control. But let's say, for example, you wanted this to continue to show up only after a certain amount of days. Well, enable this, and then you can set a cookie on the person's browser so that this won't show up until the next month. Very easy to do. Now, you can lastly decide where you want this to appear. So for that, you choose which target pages. Some people might want it on the whole site or a certain type of page. I'm just going to do it on the front page. And likewise, you can also exclude pages. So it could be whole site except for. You could also do some fun stuff like which types of visitors, WooCommerce cart based on what's in the cart, different devices, even times of day and days of the week. Really easy, lots of choices. But for the basics here, the only other thing you want to make sure of is that the actual trigger itself, the conversion button, has the same class as set here under conversion settings. So the conversion dash button is the unique class name I've used. And when I click on the button, scroll down to the advanced tab of that button and make sure that's a match. That's the way we know this is going to work. Once you've saved it, the results will look something like this. Every time the home page loads, the pop-up window will show and make somebody decide whether or not they are 21. When they click the button, it's good to go. This is a fast and easy recipe that's very powerful, gives you a lot of use cases. I'll see you in the next video.